One method we can use to control the speed of a motor is pulse width modulation. Okay, it basically works by switching on and off the motor. If we have the time that the motor is switched on, it's called the mark, and when it's switched off, it's called the space. In this section here, the motor is only on for a very brief period of time, and it's mostly off. The motor in this portion will be travelling at quite a slow speed. Here, it's swapped around. It's on for a large portion and off for a, a, a small. Okay, so the motor here is going faster than it was here. Of course, you can switch the motor on fully and it'll go at its maximum speed. The advantage of pulse width modulation is that the, because you're switching between the zero volts and whatever voltage the motor's working at, you're getting a good torque all the time. Okay. The motor can run possibly at slower speeds than it would with uh, using a digital to analog converter, for example. It might stall earlier using a digital to analog converter. The power tools, this is the, the method that's used to control the speed of them. As you press the button of the drill, the drill speeds up. Okay. It's pulse width modulation that they're using. In using the P-Basic to control it, all you're doing is making one of the outputs flash on and off, basically. You know, you're doing is changing the frequency of the, sorry, the ratio of which it flashes at. Okay? Mark, space ratio. The bigger the mark, the space ratio, the faster the motor will turn.